Welcome back children. Today let's learn the story of Eclavia. Those who have your English one textbook, I want you to take it out. And this lesson will be the last uh, lesson for your upcoming second term examination. This is chapter 5. While explaining and reading the story, I'm going to discuss the question and answers as well. So you have to pay attention to it. Read along with me and listen carefully. Let's start it reading. After reading the first page, we'll discuss the question and answers that comes from this page. We'll go on like that. Let's read. Once upon a time, there was a man called Drona. He was the son of Bharatwaja and he was a great friend of Drupada. That means, once upon a time, there was Drona, a young man named. He was the son of Bharatwaja. That means Jonas' father is Bharatwaja and his friend name is Drupada. Drupada is the prince of Panchalas. When Drona was young, he spent a lot of time in the company of Drupada. You will always be my friend, Drupada used to tell him. When I became a king of Panchalas, I shall call you to my court and you can help me to rule the country. All right, they were good friends. Drona and Drupada were very good friends. They grew up together. When Drona grew up and married a girl called Creepy, Drona's wife name is Creepy, they had a son called Aswatthama. They lived far away from the town and they were poor. One day, Drona said to his wife, I shall go and see my old friend Drupada. Now he is the king of Panchalas. He will surely remember our old friendship and help us. So he set off to meet King Drupada. But when he got to the palace, he had an unpleasant surprise. King Drupada was not at all pleased to see him. When he, we were young, we were friends, he said. But now I am a king. With all the riches of this great kingdom, and you were a poor man. Drupada said to Drona. That is a very sad thing. Alright, what other questions we can get from this page? Number A. Who was Drona's father? Drona's father was Bharat Vaja. Let's continue reading. How can... Do such people be friends? Only equals can be friends. What do you know and what can you do? Drona was very sad and very surprised. Since I last met you, I have learned the science of archery, he told the king. I care nothing for your archery, love Drupada. We have plenty of fine archers in the kingdom of Panchala. We don't need you. We do not need you. Drona was very sad, but he was also very angry. He left the place. He left, he left the palace. Did Drupada give Drona any work in his kingdom? No. Drupada did not give Drona work in his kingdom. Instead, he let him leave the palace. When he was traveling on the road to Hastinapur, he met the Guru Prince Jona and the Guru Princess while going back from the palace. Their ball had fallen into an old well and however much they tried, they could not get it out. Can you help us? They asked Jona. Can't you shoot? asked Jona. We have learned archery, replied the young princess. But we do not know how to get the bow out of the well. Now from this, we can get a question like, What happened to the bow when the Guru Princess were playing with? Were playing with? The bow that the Guru Princess were playing with had fallen into an old well. Since they could not get it out, Drona was there to help them. 
he picked some blades of green of grass from beside the well then he held up a blade of grass and said see i throw this grass straight as an arrow the blade of grass flew down the well and stuck into the bowl then drona sent a stream of grass down the well and each blade of grass struck into the one below it making a chain drona took hold of the grass chain pulled up the bow and gave it to the princess the kuru princess were amazed and delighted they asked drona to stay with them with him as their teacher all the young princess became expert in the use of bow and arrow and other weapons too but of all the young princess arjuna was the was drona's favorite arjuna worked the hardest and carried out every command of his guru i shall make you the greatest archer in the world promise drona now from the remaining what question can we get how did drona pull the bow out of the well drona sent a stream of grass down the well and each blade of grass struck into the one below it making it a chain through which he pulled up the grass ball out of the well next page one day a young man came out of the forest his name was eklavia and he had lived in the forest all his life he wanted to become drona's pupil and learn the art of archery he came one morning to drona's house and threw himself at the teacher's feet oh great teacher i have come to serve you and to learn archery from you i beg you to take me as your pupil drona was very pleased with the boy's words and with his behavior but he could not take him as his pupil I like your manners and I like the way you speak but I cannot teach you go back to the forest Now next question we can have from this is why did Eclavia throw himself at Drona's feet Eclavia threw himself at Drona's feet to serve him and to learn archery from him in order to serve him and to learn archery from him he threw himself at drona's feet eclavia threw himself at drona's feet to serve him and to learn archery from him next eclavia was very disappointed but as he thought of drona as his teacher he obeyed him and returned to the forest but he made a clay image of drona and he prayed to it every day and practiced day and night he became so skillful in the art of the bow and arrow that he could shoot in the dark or without seeing the object he was aiming at or he could shoot things just by hearing the sound of them one day all the guru princess all right uh from the chapter from the we have just read from this uh, paragraph what question can we get well, how did eclavia learn archery how did eclavia learn archery eclavia learn archery by praying to uh drawness image and then by practice by practicing day and night eclavia learn archery by praying to drawness image and by practicing day 
at night. One day, all the Kuro princess were out hunting in the forest. One of their huge dogs ran ahead of them and suddenly came out into a clearing in the trees. In the middle of the clearing was the image of Drona and the dog started to bark at it. Now, at that time, Eclavia was about a quarter of a mile away, deep in the forest. He heard the sound of the dog barking and pulling seven arrows from his quiver, he let fly one after the other straight at the dog. Each arrow pierced the dog's mouth without killing it and made a pattern of arrows which stopped the dog barking. From this paragraph, what question can we have? Why were the princess amazed when they saw the dog? The princes were amazed when they saw the dog because seven arrows seven arrows pierce straight to the dog's mouth straight to the dog's mouth without killing it the princes were amazed when they saw the dog because seven arrows pierce through pierce straight to the dog's mouth without killing it i repeat it again the princes were amazed when they saw the dog because seven arrows pierce straight to the dog's mouth without killing it oh, let's continue reading it just then the princess came into the clearing in the forest and saw the dog they were all amazed arjuna cried he is an archer more skillful than you look without seeing the dog he has shot seven arrows into its mouth each the same distance from the next Arjuna was quite angry because he wanted to be the greatest archer in the world. Just then they saw Eclavia straight coming striding out of the forest. They spoke to him and asked him who he was and at last took him to their teacher Drona. When Eclavia saw Drona, he immediately threw himself at the master's feet and joined his hands in greeting. Who are you? asked Drona. I am your humble pupil replied eclavia my pupil cried drona in amazement how can that be what do you know of archery then the princess told drona about eclavia's wonderful shooting drona was even more amazed when eclavia told him how he had made a clay image and learned from that Drona was overjoyed to learn about such a skillful and devoted pupil. He began to praise the young man, but one glance at Arjuna's jealous and angry face reminded him of his early promise. He was sad, but he hardened his heart and said to Eclavia, If you are my pupil, where is the present for your teacher? Everything I have is yours, master, replied Eclavia with a smile. Then give me your right thumb, asked Drona. Eclavia drew a sharp edged arrow from his quiver, smiled at his teacher, sliced the thumb cleanly off his right hand, and laid at Drona's feet. The last question we can have is What did Eclavia lay at Drona's feet? Eclavia lay his right thumb at Eclavius' feet, the right thumb at Drona's feet. Eclavia laid, L-A-I-D, laid his right thumb at Drona's feet. Those are the things that we can learn from this uh, lesson. The question and answers A to H have been discussed with you try to do it by yourself and then um, you submit these are words to know archery shooting with a bow and arrow company being together with others devoted dutiful and faithful equals prince people having the same rights or rank in society 
expert, somebody with much knowledge about or skill and experience in a particular subject. Favorite, most loved. Image, a picture or statue of somebody. Quiver, a long narrow case for holding arrows. Skillful, having skill, being able to do something well. Weapons, something designed to cause injury or hurt to an opponent or enemy. These words do not have to copy, be copied down in your spellings notebook again. The question and answers, we have discussed everything. You have to write it in your notebook. Write the lesson number and write the heading. Write the day and the day to homework. On the first line, you will write the lesson number, lesson 5. And on the second line, you will write the heading, the story of Eclavia. Leave one line and write the, answer the following questions. And you can start it writing the question and answers which have been discussed. That's all. Thank you, class.